You know him from films like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, a big, big film, hot film, and also Kill Bill 1 and 2. And now Michael Madsen has a documentary called American Badass, and he is here. Hi, Michael. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You're like the, the most likable guy in the world. Why would you name a film like that? <laughs> well, Because that's uh, what your roles are, no, right? No, no, it, it, it's a joke. It started a long time ago. Uh, it started out with Kid Rock, I think. And, uh, he was the American Badass. Mm -hmm. In fact, when they found out I was going to call it that, I got a, a phone call from his lawyer. <laughs> Yeah. A, a lovely, a but, gentle, but, a gentle phone you know, call. No, the kid was really cool because he apparently said, you know, Michael Madsen, well, I guess there could be more than one American badass. Yeah. 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 I took that as a compliment. So the documentary really, I mean, all obviously you've had a long career in Hollywood and there's yeah. been a lot of really big name folks that you have worked with and that have worked with you along the way and right. all of them appear in this movie, What this documentary. What is it like for you to hear Folks like Quentin Tarantino talk about you. Folk, you know, all I, of these big names. I think Quentin was the biggest addition to the whole thing. He talked a lot about our friendship and the times we worked together. And I mean, having him in there was really what I think made it work on a lot of levels. There's a lot of guys in there that I worked with that I wish had been in it. That uh, it's pretty hard to get that group together. It's hard to get people to do something like that when it's so personal. But, uh, but they all love you. <laughs> yeah. These guys are fans. Well, you know? I love them too, yeah. uh, especially now, but just kidding. Uh, everybody came across in such a nice way, and it turned out to be a much more personal thing than I expected. And uh, it's uh, nice for my kids, I think. You know, it's nice for whatever those things are meant to do. That moment with Dennis Hopper to me is like, you guys are like, like twin brothers. Did you feel that way about him? I know Dennis for a really, really long time, and... Uh, uh, he said the most amazing thing to me one time. He says, you don't really like acting, do you? <laughs> and I said, well, yeah, you know, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. And he goes, well, what would you have been if you weren't going to be an actor? And I don't know why I said it, but I go, well, I, I, maybe I would have been a carpenter. And he goes, look what happened to him, man. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> you know, yeah. It was like, wow. That's, that's one of those Dennis Hopper right, answers. Right, right. That's a Dennis Hopper. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. He's a wonderful, wonderful man. He wrote the foreword for a book that I wrote, and uh, and I wish I'd have known him uh, longer. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I saw him when he got his star on the, on the sidewalk in Walk of Fame. Yeah. So, um, you, obviously, we talked about Quentin Tarantino in this documentary, and obviously, yeah. you have been in multiple films of his, including Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which yeah, is yeah. a huge Oscar movie. It's I mean, a good picture. It's it, very... what was that like to kind of relive those that story? Well, I remember when I saw Hollywood Boulevard; it had been recreated to be exactly how it was in like 1968 or 69, and that was pretty exciting. Yeah, that was really cool. I mean, nobody but Quentin can really get away with that kind of thing. And, I was just glad to be a part of it. I had a small role, but uh, uh, he's hard to say no to. You know what I'm saying? Sure. <laughs> he really wanted me to be a part of it, and I was happy to do that. And uh, there's a bigger version of what I did in his cut of the movie that you can see at the New Beverly. Uh, it's a great film. I got to shoot with Leo, and uh, yeah. and Leo was really great to me. Uh, I had got hurt in a in a stunt in Puerto Rico, and when I was going to shoot with Leo, I was kind of fumbling my lines around and. And he was looking at me, and thank God it was lunchtime. <laughs> and he goes, what's wrong with you? And I said, I'll show you. And I had a great big purple black bruise Ooh. on my hip from oh. something that happened in a picture. And I said, well, I'll just, you know, show you. Yeah. And he goes, Michael, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he goes, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. He goes, I'll help you through this. So when we shot, he was right there for me, and I got my lines right, and uh, he didn't have to do that. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice, gracious thing for him to do. He's a nice kid. You know, it's, it occurred to me when we were uh, talking about having you on our program that yeah. Kill Bill and, uh, was one of those movies that that apparently impacted Kobe Bryant significantly enough that he adopted the Black Mamba from that movie. And you have a I went connection to, to that. I went to the last game that was ever played at the Forum mm. uh, with Kobe, and it was Dennis Rodman got kicked out of that game, as a matter of fact. Yeah. I don't remember what year it was, but... Um, because I had done a couple of movies when I went to the game, I got to go in the locker room. And I got an autograph from Kobe Bryant. Mm. And I'll never forget that. I, my son probably still has it. And uh, it's one of those things you don't really think that much about it, you know, until something like what happened. Mm. A couple of years later, I made uh, Kill Bill. And uh, unfortunately, I 
I get killed by some snakes. Right. And they're black mama snakes. And I guess uh, Kobe liked that movie very much. Mm -hmm. And that's where he got his nickname from. So, yeah, you know, it's a strange connection to have with somebody like that. But uh, such a tremendous, gigantic loss for everybody, including my sons. He was a boyhood hero to my boys, you know? Well, you, talk, really was. you talk about your, your kids. You have... What, I would five like boys? To, five yeah. boys, yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot of kids. Yeah. <laughs> you know, girls have five as well, so a lot I of get responsibility. It. That's a, hey, <laughs> so a lot of I testosterone. Would, in all right, house. there's a lot of that running around your house. But I want, I want to yeah. know what, what do you hope that they take away from your long acting career? I know at least one of them is also kind of following in the yeah, acting there, world. There's actually two of them. Two of them now. Okay. Uh, my other sons are are doing something different. They're carpenters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of them, in fact, is. He's a carpenter. He also writes music, and he has a band. Oh, wow. And, uh, but what would you like them to take away from your time? I'd like them to figure out something else to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a tough job. It's not as big and glamorous as most people think. It's, uh, it's either feast or famine. You're either busy and working a lot, or you're doing stuff you'd rather not do just to pay the rent. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's not an easy life. I come from Chicago. I was a blue collar auto mechanic, and my boys grew up, you know, rather uh, differently. And uh, I'm I'm happy that they're following my footsteps, but and I I want them to do as best as they can. If that's what they believe in doing, I'm there for them 100. percent But uh, it's not the uh, it's not the uh, parade that you think. It's well, you know, you, you play a tough guy in almost all of your movies. And uh, you get this mean streak, but all I all I feel here, here is love and a sweet guy, and I appreciate. I'm a good actor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, this is you're a, a terrific actor. Him in. An American badass has got to win some Academy Awards. Yeah. Just go on the festival, right? Maybe. Festival route. Yeah. One of these days. Yeah. We'll see. All right. If I'm lucky. I, that's why I'm on the show. Well, we want people to where. Well, <laughs> people, want, well where can people see happened? it? Where can people see it? Is it? Is well, it? it has to play first in the got in it. that thing and. And then it'll probably get picked up somewhere, hopefully, All right. by. All right. So well, we wish you the best of luck. Man. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for being here. We Thank appreciate you. that. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank we'll you. We'll be right back. Thank you very much.